Hi everybody, Kenneth G. Hasty here once again. G for great to see you. So today's video is called Be Approachable. And what do I mean by that? Well, you know, in business, if you want to be successful, you have to talk with people. And in talking with people, you have to be approachable or they may not want to talk with you or they may not approach you. So for instance, if I'm in a, in a business setting and I observe this today, I was at a networking event and I had a conversation with one of my colleagues about this is, you know, one person was standing there talking to other people that, um, you know, that they just person had recently met and stop doing this. So does this remind you of like uh, a parent when they're not happy? You know, arms crossed, especially not so much the facial expression. Or does it remind you of a coach, a professor, teacher, or what have you, when uh, when you did something wrong, you know? So actually, when your arms are crossed, it's part way to fetal position. And so subliminally, when people are talking to you, if your arms are crossed, they feel that uh, subliminally that you're rejecting them, that they're, you know, kind of a situation. So sometimes it's just because you're trying to be comfortable and it's just a comfortable position. Usually it means there's something wrong. Um, going on in your mind. It could be that you're cold. You know, it could be that you're thinking about something else, whatever it is. But if you want to be successful in business, you want to be approachable. So, you know, you want to consciously be approachable. Same thing like uh, your hand positions. If I do like this, now see, you felt negative right there, right? But if I come open-handed like this, now you're gonna, I'm going to be more approachable, be easier for you to, to talk with me. This, this is true, like, for instance, um, if you, I've gone into restaurants, there's, a, you know, but wait, there's more. There's other approachable things. I've gone into restaurants where, or or even uh, stores where I wanted to buy something. Sometimes something expensive, and I walk in, and the staff is talking to each other, and doesn't acknowledge my presence. Um, and finally, I just walk back out. You know, call me rude. It's like I'm I'm there. If I I don't I don't have much tolerance for that. If they don't acknowledge me as a patron or a customer when I walk in the door within a short time then it's not the place for me to do my, my shopping or to buy my you know food or whatever. And so if you are working, for instance, at a trade show, you know, or even a networking event of some type, if, you know, if you're sitting there talking to your colleagues, then guess who you're not talking to or with? Your potential customers. And that's who, what you're there for. You can talk to your colleagues before and after. But I see this all the time. I can't imagine how many millions or maybe billions of dollars are lost every year just from people talking to each other instead of talking to their custom, potential customers. Yeah, I see this a lot. Uh, like if you're if you're at a trade show and you've got a fairly open booth and people walking by, but you don't really know who the next potential person that might be a big, huge customer is. You know, everyone is a potential customer. That's why they're at the trade show, right? So they're walking by and, you know, they kind of stop for a second and they glance at the booth. They make a decision right then. You do too when you're walking up and looking at something. Think about it. You, you make a decision. Do I want to learn more? Do I want to talk to somebody? Not quite sure. Let me see. But if they're all just sitting there, maybe go to each other, you're kind of like, they're busy. Plenty of places to see here. I'll go to the next one. You know. Um, uh, another thing is like if you, um, let's say you're at a, a seminar or meeting with your, with your team. And typically what people do, or even in an after hour, like a cocktail situation, they, they congregate together because it's a comfort zone because they know each other. So you're sitting there with your team and you're all talking and you have a great time, but you can do that on the weekend. You know I mean? You can do that after work or over coffee. You're not there for that. You're there to network, right? So I would highly recommend divide and conquer, meaning that each person on the team go to a different table. And now you've leveraged your ability to talk about, you know, what your company has and to many, many people and your chances of selling go up exponentially. So remember, the reason you're there isn't to socialize with your colleagues. So be approachable, you know, make sure that your company's approachable and uh, you'll sell a whole lot more. I promise you that. So I'll talk to people like this. All right. That's all I got for today. Kenneth G. Hasty. Um, I'm the guy you call when you get serious about growing your business. And you can check me out at KennethGHasty.com. Email me, Kenneth, at KennethGHasty.com. And I'll put a link in here. We'll sync with my calendar. If you want to talk a little business and see how we can help you work on your business and do what you're passionate about and let us work in your business and help with the sales and marketing and systems so that you have a very successful business. So we'll talk about it. Give me a call. We'll talk. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Kenneth G. Hasty signing off.